Okay, sports fans, the bit you've been waiting for. We're going to put the tank top on. There you go, like so. First of all, you need your half inch black. About three inches for the top and the bottom will do. So they will be, they will be getting riveted in, like so. Okay. So first of all, you're gonna find the center of this, the bottom of the tank, because we're gonna drill and rivet one of them elastics to it. Okay. If you remember, we got three mil rivets for this. So we're gonna be popping them in in a moment. So now for the tank topper. Before, before I put it on, I'm gonna put the, obviously you'll have painted this up and put your little white circle on. And now I'm gonna put the red pinstripe on. Just goes across there. Okay, like so. Right then, so if you remember this piece, okay, and that will be getting stuck inside there, like so, when we put it on. If, right, so you've received this as a kit off us, so I expect you probably got to sand a little bit, bit off the bottom of it. So, I mean, you can use screenshots for this if you like, but well, it kind of sits about that deep in it, if you can see that. Next job, we'll be drilling a three mil hole in here. An equal distance from there and there. Okay, I'm gonna put a little rivet on it. I'm just going to put a tiny, tiny little bit of glue under it so it helps me when I'm putting it on. So now I've glued it in position whilst I'm putting the elastic underneath it. And there, uh, it won't be. What I need to do, I usually use that line as the centre line to situate it. So what I'll do, I'll find the centre line of the tank. Mark it on here, then I can line it up with it then. Now I've made a little centre line there, I'll be lining the red stripe up with it, so it looks right. So what I'm gonna do now, before we attach the elastics, I'm gonna glue it in position. This is the easiest way I hold it together, between my fat and the table. There's plenty of screenshots out there for you to judge where it needs to be up and down the tank but for me about there is perfect I'm just going to make a couple of marks I'm just going to do it by eye as long as you've got that centre line Don't need a great deal of glue on it. Voila. Get your trusty hole punch. Get your half inch black. Pop a little hole in each end. Three mil rivet. Extra washer. We're gonna go for the top one now. So that hole I made earlier on, now I've got a perfect guide with the washer in place, I'll just go right through it. So three mil rivet, right through, like so. Okay. Elastic on the other side. You can't hardly tell there really, but I've, I've put the washer on the other side. So the rivet doesn't, doesn't just pull right through it. I don't know if you can tell. Okay. Hold it in position. Voila. Right, just to be doubly sure, we're gonna put some 
super glue on the inside of it as well, on each side of where the rivet was. Just in case it ever pulls out, we're laughing then, aren't we? Just like with the belt, really. Don't just rely solely on the elastic. If you're going to be doing some trooping, you need it. You need to be doubly, doubly sure. Okay, so now this part. We're going to glue it right there. Okay. Now for the bottom, we drilled this hole earlier, so send it through. Through the door, washer. Right then, if you remember the black pinstripe we talked, talked about in one of the earlier tutorials, now we're going to use it. So again, it's, it's to your pre preference really, but uh, you can get a screenshot, set your tank up and copy what you think is the right distance. I go with 11 centimetres. It looks about right, but again, whilst you're building it, you'll probably be looking at the screen grabs all the time, so it's entirely up to you. But I go with 11 centimetres. And if you notice, I'm just marking it on in points, just as a slight guide for when I put it on. Then the part that goes down it, I do it 1.5 centimetres. A moment ago, I put these little little lines on, 11 centimetres down. I'm going to attempt to get it right first time. So I peeled it off already. So I'm just trying to line them up now. So I'm just going to rest it in position. So I'm about there at the moment. So it's starting to take shape now, isn't it? Right, so this part here, where it, it scoops in, if you pull this tight, then push it down, at some point it's just gonna ping off. So you just let it, just feel it around the corner. There you go, and just don't pull it tight, because it's, it's constantly fighting itself and it just will ping off. So in theory, in theory, instead of that, nice and tight there, you'll end up with that. Can you see that? The gap under it. So again, you just need to... Just ease it around that the rad, the ledge. Okay. Now I'll just fold that over. Put it there and that'll definitely be enough for that bottom section. Then the other side. Okay, so I did the 1.5 centimeters from the bottom of the rad on both sides. I did one mark and then the rest of it I winged it by eye really. So these little bits of excess now, I'll just get the Stanley on it. Or scalpel. Pop it off. Okay, the little bits that are folded over on the inside, I'm just gonna put a little blob of glue on them. And that'll stop it from peeling off. Okay, we're about ready to stick it on now. So we'll centralize the tank. If you remember, I put two lines on each side when I was shaping the tank to the back. I've still got them on, so I, that's pretty, a pretty easy way to centralise it. Okay, place it down. Just match each, each side of the elastic. Bit of super glue on it. Activator. 
You don't need to use the activator, you can hold it for 20 hours if you want. So there you go, that's that, that stuck down. Next, so all we have to do now is line that up with that one and we're laughing. So pull it a little bit tight, holds it all in position, line it up, and stick it on. Okay, that's the back of the tank attached. Next, next tutorial, we'll be attaching that to the front of the Scout Armour, the chest. So now, the tank stripes, okay? Or should I say the rank, the rank bars? Right, you, you can do it with a six, which will sit about there, or you could do it with just the one, which would sit about there, okay? Or then, you could do it with the four, and they would, let's say, sit about there. Okay? But the, diff the, the only different part with the four one, you would have a piece dead center there as well. So don't forget that if you do the four. Today, I'm just going to pour the six on it. Voila, and that's that, double bacchinia.